In this video, we're going to be focusing on ordering fractions, percents, and decimals. So if I'm given a variety of fractions and percents and decimals, I want to put them in order from least to greatest or greatest to least. So let's look at this first example. So here I have four values. I have 43 fiftieths, 91 hundredths, 7 eighths, and 84 percent. I want to order them from least to greatest. The best way to order these is to put them all into the same form. We either want to have all fractions, all decimals, or all percents. And that will make it very easy to put them in order. The easiest would be to put them all as decimals or all as percents because fractions, when they have different denominators, are trickier to put in order. So let's go ahead and change them all to percents. Okay? So 43 fiftieth, I want to change that to a percent. Well, if I know that 50 times 2 is 100, that gives me my denominator 100. I can also do 43 times 2, which would give me 86 over 100. Okay? I have 91 hundredths, so that is going to be the same as 91% when I move my decimal to just to the right. For 7 eighths, well, that's harder to get. I don't know anything times 8 that makes 100. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use my calculator. And I'm going to use my division to help me with 7 eighths. I'm going to put 7 divided by 8 in my calculator. And you see I get 875 thousandths. Okay, so that's 875 thousandths. But to make it into a percent, I'm going to move that decimal point two jumps to the right when I multiply by 100. So that's going to give me 87 5 tenths percent. And 84 percent is already written as a percent, so we don't have to do anything with that one. Okay, now I'm going to look, oh, I forgot to change him to a percent. 86 over 100 is 86 percent. Now I'm going to look at each of my values, and now I'm going to put them in order from least to greatest. So I'm looking here, I have 86, 91, 87.5 and 84. So 84 would be first, 84 percent. Next would come 86 percent, but I'm going to write it as the original value of 43.50. The next would be 87.5 percent, but I'm going to write it as its original value from the problem, 7 eighths. And then lastly, 91 percent would come last, which I'm going to write it as its original value from the problem, 91. So here I have them ordered from least to greatest.